Motocross Nationals are coming. Sunday, June 27th at the Shadow Valley Raceway in Morton. The gate drops at noon for an awesome five hours of extreme action sports racing you'll never forget. Yeah. Get up close to the most intense whole oh, shot. Bar to bar battles and huge air. Check CRCRacing.com. The Monster Energy Motocross Nationals. Sunday, June 27th, Shadow Valley Raceway, Morton, Manitoba. Race goes rain or shine. This is the final moto of the day for the big boys, MX1 Moto 2. Okay, last, uh, last moto of the day, second MX1 moto. Uh, some great battling uh, in and around the pack. Of course, Dusty Clatt with another hole shot. That was two for him for today. Uh, he's back in terms of speed. He looked great on the track today, too, when he was out in the lead. Okay. I think the real story is Josh Smooth. That guy's really starting to show that he has podium speed, and if he can just get a good start, maybe he can battle for the lead for crying out loud. Yeah, the, uh, the resurgence of Josh came this winter when he won the Arena Cross title for the uh, fourth time, and then uh, all of a sudden he's just he's found some outdoor speed as well up here in Canada. You know, he's riding so amazing, and it's good to see. He's just one of those guys that you, you love to talk to. He's really His heart and soul is right in, into racing. It's all he's really ever done, and uh, so it's good to see. He's one of the older fellows up there, too, so you get that sort of uh, vet vibe from him as well, but uh, you talked about Dusty Cloud today. Wow. He was he was the Colton Fasciotti today. Both hole shots, ran away with the motos. Obviously, getting a little bit of a gift with Colton going down. Now uh, we have got word that uh, Colton is doing okay, uh, getting better. So that's good news. Bobby K two two on the day it was it kind of a, a the good battle that you said in the little bit ending one one two two three three. So a bit of a, a bit of a boring finish to the day, but uh, in, during the moto there was some good stuff going on there. Yeah, especially in that back little four five six cluster, we had some good battles out there with. Um, uh, Fred Carley on that new rock star Suzuki of his, and yep. uh, Mason Phillips is in the mix. How about uh, Brock Hoyer, leading edge uh, Kawasaki on the, on the big bikes? Had a great start and was in the mix for almost the whole moto. Yeah, he was doing really well. I think he might have went down near the end there because he fell back, but great start for him. That's good. Uh, a young kid like that, you, you feed off that, Brock. You take that and you say, you know what, I belong there. I got the speed there for three laps. I just got to work on a little bit more, but you know you can fit in with those top guys. Uh, big surprise, too, today, Kevin Urquhart in that moto. Yeah. Great ride by the 546. He was, uh, you know, he was up there on the start, got a great start, and then all of a sudden, you know, you think he might have, you know, put the anchor in, he was going to fade around, but no, he hung on, it went right to the end, and it was relentless. So with Demeth and Keith, they were chasing him and chasing him and chasing him, and finally, he had to give up by coming across and finishing fifth in that final mode. He's got to be pumped. Privateer guy, America coming up, joining our series, and another friendly face, just another new guy like you get to see it there. But uh, DK, you know, uh, we've seen him do like, these things before. Will, will this continue? Will he get the confidence back from 2006? I guess we got seven days to tell when we go to Morton, but he looked amazing today. I definitely felt good and uh, you know my Yamaha Red Bull Black Foot bike got off to an awesome start again. We came up with another hole shot. Can't ask for much of a better day. Two hole shots and two wins. Uh, yeah, obviously a bummer because of cold, but uh, I mean things could have been different today. But uh, I felt really good today. This is probably the best I've felt so far in the series, so hopefully things just keep on going forward. Yeah, you know, that was our goal, is to eventually be leading the points here. Uh, I didn't expect to do it so soon. Um, like I said, we just wanted to build, stay strong every week, putting in these solid results. It makes it a lot easier for us, you know. But uh, those Bondi motors getting good starts for us, putting us in good positions this year. RG3 is handling those bumps great for me. 